Ladies and gentlemen, you read that title. I had to put on my official epic, whatever's backward, epic rap battle of history t-shirt that I got from Epic Lloyd and uh, uh, Nice Peter when I went up there. It's time for Mansa Musa to break down the new ERB. Let's go. The Schmrat White ERB is here. Henry Ford versus Karl Marx. Let's get it. They've been waiting on Mansa Musa, a.k.a. Screwface John, to... I'm here. Don't even worry. Don't even trip potato chip. I got my breakdown glasses on. Got my Don DeMarco mic. Let's get it, bro. Huh? Yeah. And my big dog remix screwed up. Is dropping, I think, Monday? Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. They've been waiting on this, I know. Mr. Motor City needs some medicine. Now, I do know Karl Marx is Marxist, um, Henry Ford, obviously the 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 car, the he it, he invented the um during the Industrial Revolution, I can't remember. The assembly line type thing, but yeah, okay, okay. Mr. Motor City needs some medicine red. My lines are a production. Your lines are red. This is <sighs> production lines, assembly lines. You see, my lines are a production. Your lines are bread. Niggas wait. I'm assuming he's talking about niggas waiting in line, bread lines to get their bread. He's talking about his lines. That's nice because his lines are just and his lines are construction so he's constructing these rap lines but he's also constructing cars in his assembly lines let's go all right ford built for tough huh let's go production your lines are red this is headland time pieces is how i got my start now watch me tear your ideology apart you scream you know okay you know that's a cool little line he's just letting you know i, I got my start you know, taking apart watches and stuff. Now, let me rip down your whole ideology, Marxism. Let's break it down. Go. You scream, unite the workers, free the class slaves. Lose your chain, trade them in for mass graves. Wow, it's Stalin. Wow, appalling mounts of body pain. When a world leader likes you, that's a red flag. I'm You're getting close to a Don DeMarco. You, you know what was the line that almost gave it for him? It was this one. Hold on. He said, lose your chains. Trade them in for mass graves. Oh, you think you, oh, you think you Lux. Oh, you trying to talk to this nigga. Oh, so you think you T-Top. Woo! Lose your chains. Trade them in for mass graves. What's Stalin? Wow, appalling mounts of body bag. When a world leader likes you. He says, Mal and Stalin, appalling body bags. When a world leader likes you, that's a red flip. Don DeMarco. <laughs> Don DeMarco, no, Henry Ford talking to this nigga. He said, oh, Mao and Mao Zedong? Oh, that's your man's? That's your man's, right? When a world leader likes you, that's a red flag. I produce with my two hands. You're a destitute trade. Scheming to trade bootstraps in for food stamps. That's just good rapping. The bootstraps for the food stamps, that's, that's, that's just good rapping. <laughs> That's just good writing. You know I'm a pit point that out. That's the two trains. Scheming to trade bootstraps in for food stamps. Woo! Any person tries to seize my private property will catch a tour friends to his private pot properly. Who takes advice from a... Will catch a what to his private property? That's hard. Will catch a torque wrench. A, a torque wrench to his private property. So he's saying gonna hit you in the gonads, basically, with a wrench. Bang! Property will catch a tall friends to his private parts properly. Who takes it by from a broke slime? It's laughable. I wouldn't wet my Wait, tail. Friends to his private parts properly. Who takes it by from a broke slime? It's laughable. I wouldn't wet my tailpipe with your dash crap at all. If you oh, now Henry Ford is just disrespectful. Never mind. He ain't, he ain't Lux. He ain't T Top. Nigga, Arsenal. He said, why would you take advice from a broke nigga? I'll wipe my mm with the, yeah, my goodness. Marx, I ain't gonna lie, Henry Ford I, could get bodied, though. If you know about Henry Ford, can get bodied in a battle, so. Wipe my tailpipe with your dash crap at all. If you'd save the penny for his daughter you named Jenny, you might not have needed to bury quite some in. Who's that? Don DeMarco. Oh, my God. Oh my lord and savior. Nah. Nah. See, they come here because for, for my breakdown. Yeah, man, some moose are gonna break it down. Oh my 
Lort. Annie, you might not have needed to bury quite so many. Who's that proud young McGally and heavy drinking? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to come through crazy because Henry Ford disrespected your whole set and the way he ended that. Lord, that was a good round. Let's go. Who's that proud young McGally and heavy drinking card carrier? You just think it's legal letter ink and proletarian? Oh, damn. Okay, it's one of these accents. I ain't gonna lie to you, so that means I'm gonna have to rely on reading these a lot more. Some of these accents be making it hard to hear what they're saying, but okay, let's... Future thinking Lincoln Letter, Ink and Proletarian. Future thinking Lincoln Letter, Ink and Proletarian. That boy rapping, though. Yeah, it's Karl Marx. A very right stop. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Oh, my God. God, Don DeMarco out the gate early. Henry, I mean, Carl's out for blood. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Oh, my. And that's a nice rebuttal, too, because, like, oh, yo, you're talking about Mao is my homie. But uh, this, this dude named Hitler dropped your name in his book. What's up with that? That's a fire rebuttal. Huh? I'm very right, stop. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. My codes of sin cause mass break. We did get that from books, but you didn't read shit. Your self made man stories come from a tourist. Your daddy's to ants gave you a free fraud. Of course, you were the. He said you grew up with a silver spoon. He called you King Harris. Hold on. He said, Yo, that all that shit. Yo, dad, you started with a silver spoon. You started ahead of everybody else. Your daddy's two hands is the one that gave you this. Gave you that land, bro. Stop acting like you just came up from the gutter. Yeah, we came up from gutters out here. Yeah, what are you talking about? Talk to him, Carl. Uh. from gave you a free You were the first of six kids till the seventh killed your mother. Maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother. Your mother. Oh my God, nah, these niggas is disrespectful. Oh, you gonna talk about my 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 daughter? Well, watch this, nigga. What? Hold, hold my drink. Don DeMarco. Oh, nah. Y'all gonna have to fight after this. Yeah, nah. Y'all gonna have to squabble after this. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. But you smile at your workers like Big Brother. Your model D. Total lack of style is killing me. I, I'm sorry. I can't get over that. I can't get over that. He said, basically, your brother killed your mother. And he said, that's why you spy on points like Big Brother. That was, that was just clever. Maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother. Woo! Total lack of style is killing me. They can take shit from you according to ability. Do what your first car can't take back up. Beating me is like your city in Brazil. Nuts! Do what like your car, your first car couldn't do and back up? He said, nigga, you made whips that can't even reverse. Your first whip can't even reverse. You talking to me crazy. Don't talk to me crazy, nigga. You ain't think about that? Niggas might want to go backwards? Beating me is like your city in Brazil. Nuts! Don't step that close without some beer jam poo, son. All right, yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a good battle. Oh, my God. That first round, I don't know who to give it to. I don't, because just as disrespectful as Henry was, the, the sister line and the brother line almost cancel each other out. The, there's a lot. Wow. Wow, that's not... Okay, you lived in Cologne, you used like you could have used some. That that's oh, we get it. I don't know why that kind of came off as a dad joke. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way it was delivered. But it's like it's 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 a it's it's actually spo it's it's weird because that, that should hit harder to me because he is from Cologne. And you could have used some. I don't know why that just doesn't. That's just like, a, okay. Uh, maybe because you just came from the brother line? I don't know. It's a beer jam poo, son. You lived in Cologne. Look like you could have used some. I drip with style like a dipstick grips on. You look as sick as your chronic dick boy. I'm at. <laughs> My. Oh, nah. They came disrespectful this time. Oh, they came disrespectful. They came disrespectful. Oh my. Grip a style like a dipstick grips on. You look as sick as your chronic dick boy. I'm mass producing abuse on a utopian hobo. I'm throwing you for loops like a dick boy. I'm mass producing abuse on. 
I mass producing abuse. Okay, because he mass produced cars and he's mass producing abuse. Okay, cool. I thought he was just saying in real life, but okay, I get it. I get the metaphor. On a utopian hobo. On a utopian hobo. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm throwing you for loops like the F of my logo. I I'm throwing you for loops like the F on my logo? Nah, you niggas rapping on this. Oh, no, they rapping, rapping on this. Good job to Epic Lloyd and Nice Peter. I love it when the battles is actually dope, man. Woo-wee! Producing abuse on a utopian hobo. I'm throwing you for loops like the F of my logo. I gave man work. You brought nothing but harm. Take your bourgeois pig shit back to Animal Farm. Ooh, we called you a bourgeoisie pig. Back to the Animal Farm. It was a, it was less disrespectful in the first round, but like rhyming wise, it still holds up well. So honestly, I think I'm gonna figure out who wins this by this round. Hopefully, there's a third round because there's a chance there's a tie. Back to animal farm. Yes. Your factory conditions were bleak. Crap and machine cranking out four severed fingers a week. You control. Oh my God, the niggas rapping. Crack of the week, chopping up four fingers a week. Woo! You nigga think he Karl Marx shady? Complete crap of machine cranking out four severed fingers a week. You Don DeMarco. Nah, that's a Don DeMarco. Cranking out four severed fingers a week. Four severed fingers a week. You controlled with employees could think, drink, and eat. And when they march for the wages, shut them dead in the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Carl got this one. This, see what happens? See what happens? You kind of let your foot off the gas, Henry. That's a bar, too, if you think. You kind of let your foot off the gas in the second a little bit. He came through and you was out here killing your workers for protest. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Uh, unless it's a third round, Mark's got this one so far. That that alone, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Boys could think, drink, and eat. And when they march for better wages, shut them dead in the street. Yeah, in truth, what you produce. He's making you look crazy right now. Dead in the street. In truth, what you produce for alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like Eminem. And now you're in a state. They will clock into Detroit and lose their self like Eminem. And the reason, nigga, Don DeMarco. Oh my God, this round might be better from four. The reason why that's so dope was because didn't like the mo Detroit and the motor is the motor city. The motor um, industry is big in Detroit, but that's also a reason why Detroit don't be having a lot of money too. And and it was. I think, did the motor industry leave? Because once people leave and leave out of jobs and the jobs start going overseas, a lot of people was losing jobs and shit and Detroit got Detroit. But he said, who will clock into Detroit then lose themselves like Eminem, lose yourself the song, the workers in the Henry Ford are losing their identity, losing themselves, might even lose their lives. And, and Marx did a good job painting Ford as a, as a bad person because the chopping off four fingers a week, you're deciding what they eat, drink, and sleep, and then you killing them in the uh, when they protest, you killing them in the street. That and then when he goes to the clock and then and lose yourself like Eminem, nah, nigga. If there's not a third round, Mark's kind of buried you. He kind of went like the first two was right hit, and then like Ford kind of went down down here, and then Henry went up. I mean, and then Carl went here. Wow. Alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like Eminem. And now ah! you're in the state, it's exactly a great sight. Uh, you were worse for Michigan than Flint's water bikes. Uh, you grabbed the bottom. Nick, no, that was a clear, clear Karl Marx. Okay, there's a third. Ford, this is your chance, bro. You got to turn up. Michigan and Flint's water bikes. Uh, you grabbed the bottom, pressing the... Don DeMarco for that Flint water pipes, too. God damn Exactly a great sight. Uh, you were worse for Michigan than Flint's water pipe. Uh, you cried to buy depression, don't leave me impressed. You're not hot, Carl. That's your shit on your chest. For a man to stay less. Is a hot Carl a. <laughs> the immature side of me. Don has to give that a Don DeMarco. <laughs> But I will say, you got some explaining to do. You got some things to address because Carl made you look type crazy. So you got some explaining to do. I ain't gonna lie. 
It, the immature jokes ain't gonna work for this whole round. They did work there though. That's hilarious. An impression don't leave me impressed. You're not hot, Carl. That's just shit on your chest. But for a man to stay less, you got an awful lot to say. I pay you five dollars. Yeah. Oh, that's just shit on your chest. But for a man to stay less, you got an awful lot to say. I pay you five dollars a day to go away. Bloody angles bankrolled you with this textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're oh, nigga. You got capitalists paying your bills, Carl? He said, oh, all of a sudden the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills, right? Damn, they're doing a really good job at exposing the hell out of each other. This is a good-ass battle. Should have cleaned my glasses before this. Bloody angles bankrolled you with this textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're a hypocrite. Nick with his love was up to this issue. Step off your soapbox. Take the soap with you. <laughs> Nah, Henry Ford is just a, he need to go to your mama. MTV's your mama, when they bring it back, he need because he just, he go roast her. He just funny. <laughs> just get off the soapbox. Take the soap with you. That's hard. Soapbox, take the soap with you. Look, dummy, shedding money is the communist vision. Engels Bank was the crank that got the revolution spinning. We gave everything to see the common people like that. Some sold down for the cause. I even pawned my own ass. You grew so out of touch with sabotage, you're only kid. It's a stomach cancer, showed more love than you did. So congrats. Nah, Carl played the long game. I see what you did, Carl. You played possum that first round. Huh? You ain't show your whole hand the first round. Smart. He said, oh, Carl, since he went second, he said, oh, that's where we going? I heard Henry's verse. All right, cool. Let me <clears throat> let me get him back. First round debatable. Second round not debatable. Third round. Because low-key, his strategy started from the first round, but didn't really pay off to the third. He was demon dim diminishing Henry Ford as a person and how evil, pointing out how evil, almost of an evil villain he, he was, and pointing it out through this. So now, by the end of the second round, he got me looking at Ford like, I don't know if I even, if I even rock with you, son. And that's a, good, that's a good battle. That's a good round. So now when he's talking about, nigga, you sabotage your only kid. Down for the cause, I even pawned my own ass. You grew so out of touch, you sabotage your only kid. It's a stomach cancer show. Edgel stomach cancer show more love than you did. Oh God, Carl, you got this. More love than you did. You you could calm down now. Like you ain't. Congrats, your legacy that ashes. Remembered as the fascist sympathizing goes of climate change and car crashes. From your newspaper to your Nazi factory, cross the board directly. As it goes of climate change and car. And you did. So congrats, your legacy that ashes. Remembered as the fascist sympathizing goes of climate change and car crashes. Damn, I ain't gonna lie to you. It was close in the beginning. It ended not close at all. Nigga, he pointed out you you caused climate changes and car crashes. Oh, God. From your newspaper to your Nazi factory. To your Nazi factory cross the pond? Yeah, nigga, you lost. I don't know. Marx came to annihilate you, nigga. Cross the pond. Frankly, Hank, it's clear. I switch side. You and all this battle's been a blow. It's clear Auschwitz side you're on as which Auschwitz. Oh, no. Don DeMarco, he a dead boy. Stop! He's already dead. Like that hemorrhage in your head. I'll leave a floor that's expected. Son on road dead. Oh, oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Leave a Ford expected on the road dead. Yo, at first I was like, this is going to be hard. This was a great battle but Karl Marx that's how you that's how you win a battle against a great opponent both of y'all can rap great but his strat Karl Marx's strategy was better let me know if I'm tripping let me know in the comment section who you think won Karl Marx got this for me